cool thing about the drag flick is that there are so many things that come together during the drag flick. Because your feet are important, your arms are important, your hands are important, and then the rotation of your body and your legs and the entire sequence is really important. When they all come together at the same time, that's when you can release a fantastic flick. So the actual definition of a drag flick is when the ball moves forward to the center of the stick, usually halfway from the grip down to the curl. And if it rolls off from here, that is the actual definition of the word flick. So if you combine the two and you actually get forward motion and you bring the ball forward and the ball goes to the middle and then it rolls off, that's when you get that sound that actually sounds like a flick and the ball rolling off from here to the edge that's the actual definition of the drag flick one thing that's really important to realize is that to drag flick you need to get extremely low in your final position your face is actually lower than your back and what you're going to try and practice is you're going to try and put your hands apart about halfway to the grip and you're going to bring the ball forward and once you go down you see my curl going forward and this is the end position that you want to train and then from here on you're going to try and lean in get the ball to the middle and roll off that's step one what we're now going to do is if you get the hang of that you can stand up place your feet next to each other and really try and focus on getting the ball from all the way to the right side with a stretched right arm and try and bring the ball forward and while you bring the ball forward, you're going to make a big step with left. And from here, you're going to get back to where we were before. We're going to go down and try and release the ball after we drag it. If you think that drag flicking is all about muscle and power, you're wrong. If you think that the power is coming from your arms, you're wrong as well. The power comes from the legs. Ask any drag flicker, where does the main power come from? It's from the dive. It's your ability to pick up the ball and stay upright and then dive in and get that upper body down to the turf. That's where the power comes from because the release gives you more power the lower you get. So when I run up, I try and place my foot next to the ball. So that's the run part. Then there's the pick. And so when you start to practice, before we practice like this, stepping out, now the next step is to get your foot behind. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up the ball again from this position, and we're gonna make a big step with left, and we're gonna practice diving in. It's really important to really dive down to the turf and get that body down, because that'll get you way more speed. Let me show you. Hi everyone, do you want to copy me and mirror my skills? Check out the Be Like app and compare your skills to mine. Good luck. The pickup of the ball is actually quite important. So what you want to do is you step your left foot right behind and that's when the ball starts to roll. And you take a big step with left and that's when you roll in. The run up is something which is very personal. So when I start I'm like this. So your run-up is actually the least important part of the drag flick. Just try and find your own simple way of making your run-up because your run-up is the least important part of your drag flick entirely. Yes, you want to get forward body motion. So yes, you want to run into it because it'll get you a bit more power and momentum. However, the way you stand uh, starting off with your drag flick, whether it's like this, like some guys do, whether it's like this or it's like this or it's like this, it doesn't matter. It's all up to your own preference, but you gotta make sure that with your run-up that you can place that left foot where you want it to be placed and you can start your movement. All right, just to summarize, run, pick, dive, flick. If you put it all together, then this is what you get. You get your run-up, you get your pick-up, your dive, and then your flick. And that's what you're looking for. Try to practice those four elements 
put them all together, and then the drag flick is a beautiful thing.